Aries, welcome Aries. Aries, we're going to do a love read for you today. We're going to use one deck for you, one deck for your partner. We're going to look at both your current energies, desire, outcome. We're also going to look at what's working for you and what you need to be aware of. And then we'll do the same for your partner. We'll go through, clarify, and figure out how each are feeling about each other. So that said, Aries, let's look at how you are feeling towards your person. Well, looks like somebody's really stinking happy. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune that shows up for you. And that means there's a lot of uh, happiness or progress that's going on possibly a new cycle and then we have the seven of pentacles show up and to me that is somebody that's got some things that are happening for them they're preparing for the future and being able to see that there is a future possibly with this individual and then we have the knight of wands a knight of wands to me is possibly somebody that's moving in together Excuse me. Whew. We have what's working for you is the devil. Weird card to have working for you. Um, but maybe somebody's actually taking some well-needed time out just for themselves. Or, and then what you need to be aware of is the three of cups. So that said, let's start to clarify. I'm actually going to do it different. I'm going to go through and let's do your partner's cards. And then we'll clarify yours and then clarify your partner's. Excuse me. So how is Aries' partner or person feeling towards Aries? How is Aries' person feeling towards Aries? Well... They feel like you guys are working on things together. They're happy to be working with you and making some progress. Their desire is the Two of Swords. Now this is kind of weird. And maybe they're just seeing how things are going rather than making a choice. But this choice will need to be made. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles that shows up in the outcome. So building a future together What's working for them is their is the Four of Pentacles. So maybe they're holding on to some thoughts and feelings that have been sort of their main focus. They could be afraid of losing him. And then we have the King of Wands that shows up. What they need to be aware of. So that's kind of interesting, but let's go through now and let's clarify your cards now that we have both on the table. So why is the wheel here for Aries? How is Aries being towards their person and why is the wheel here? So what comes through is the judgment card, the strength card, and the four of wands. So this seems to be that this might be a new beginning with this person. Um, and a major choice has been made, or needs to be made. And it's taking a lot of intestinal fortitude in regards to that stability. So maybe somebody's actually coming forward with some type of love offer to their partner. And they see that once they've made that choice and they take forward in that step, things have now just started. And it looks like that's what's sort of that's the energy you're in. And why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Well, this is uh, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. So, although you see this future and creating uh, as it's in its infancy right now, you feel like you're actually stepping up to the plate and your partner's noticing that you feel 
you're really in your head about this though uh, creating this life this security uh, and everything but this is you know this is this is part of it we all sort of think our way through things um, but it seems like you are really in your head over this now why is the knight of wands here We have the Chariot, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Cups. Well, if you're looking at moving in with this person, is and this is showing up as the outcome, this is coming around very quickly. Um, and it looks like it's going to be successful. And it does create a lot of different uh, opportunities. But at the same time, uh, you're needing to use your wisdom around this, but it's also got you up in your feelings kind of like hey You know what? I'm in control of my emotions, but I'm experiencing a lot now the interesting thing is this devil that's working for you and maybe Maybe this individual that you are with is the one that's sort of pushing things along Just and you're sort of looking at things like okay, you know, how is this gonna go? How are they really feeling? Uh, they might be the ones that are pushing this along. So why is the devil here? <laughs> because the devil is cleared by, or sorry, clarified by the de uh, death card, the high priestess, and the six of pentacles. And this to me is that whatever's going on or whatever you've been doing, um, in this sort of devil energy, there is major change that's starting to happen. And that major change, you're not sure where it's going to come out or how it's going to come out, but it has you both uh, sharing. The Three of Cups is what you need to be aware of. So there's a lot of joy to be had with this. There is... Um, yeah, possibly even uh, a wedding. Um, now let's have a look at why the Three of Cups is here. There it is. <laughs> That's really funny. Not really funny, haha, but it's interesting that this has come up. So certainly this could definitely be a marriage, but there is celebration to be had here as you both move forward with this relationship. The Hierophant, to me, is a card of marriage. So things are starting to stabilize as you go through the rocky beginnings of everybody being on their good behavior, trying to figure out how both are dealing with things. Uh, and we see that this love offer is definitely there. And you can see that, for you, there is this... This is kind of what you're wanting with this person. Uh, so those opportunities are presenting them themselves. Now let's look at the Three of Pentacles. Now we're going over to your partner's cards or your person's cards. Now why is the Three of Pentacles here for Aries' person? They see that working on things is a good thing. There's been times where... Um, You've got the Seven of Swords. Things aren't going according to plan. That's created conflict. But they're still in this. They're still in this to work with you. Um, and it goes from the Seven of Swords to the Five or Seven of Wands. So they feel like they've got to defend themselves. Maybe their beliefs. Uh, sometimes people get that way. But at the same time, they are still working on this with you. And they're working on themselves. And why is the Two of Swords here? Because this is not like something that they've had in the past. Uh, we have the Lovers, the Three of Wands, and the Justice card. So, to me, this is... They see you as all that in a bag of chips. Uh, with the Lovers being here, they're definitely, definitely looking at you as the one. Now we have the Three of Wands, and they are starting to move forward and see that, hey, you know what, there is a future with this, but they really want to see how this goes. But they need to balance this out. Uh, we have the Justice card that's that's coming, or that is showing up. Now this Justice card is maybe, just maybe, they're not being fair. And that fairness is um, 
needing to be balanced because we've got the seven of swords and the seven of wands so maybe they're being a little manipulative and i kind of get that with that devil energy that they are sort of pushing your strings or pulling your strings uh, a little bit now the seven of pentacles is clarified by the four of cups the empress and the three of swords You can see that they do want this future to some degree, but at the same time, there's a lot of hesitation because um, they're looking at this as with the Empress card that this could be a marriage. Uh, maybe you're separated right now, but there's also this Three of Swords that's there. So we go from the Two of Swords to the Three of Swords, and there's some things that are breaking their heart. And now I kind of get that this is sort of from the past because um, or maybe they're starting to understand that the way that they're behaving is really causing them their own pain now why is the four of pentacles here high priestess magician king of pentacles well they're trying to hold on to that little life that they used to have where they were um, free to do whatever they wanted they could act and behave in any way they wanted but they also see that this has the makings of something that's very very stable um, and then we have of course the king of pentacles showing up and they can see that yes you are this type of person we also have the king of wands which is t typically a player somebody that can be very very um, sort of hot and cold now this could be them but why is the King of Wands here? Well, it seems like they do want to take action. They want to take action with this Ten of Cups. They want to create that life. They're trying to balance things out. But I get them more as this sort of Nine of Pentacles type person. They're stable. Um, and it's almost like they're not used to being in a relationship. Now I want to pull three more cards for them and then three more cards for you with any advice regarding this. Well, it seems like they're in this energy of, you know, they want things to move forward. Uh, this chariot card to me is very different than this one. This one, it's not really going anywhere. They think they are they're ready to go but they haven't cracked the reins or said you know mush puppies mush and so they're sort of really indecisive in sort of the action that they want to take but they are they'll come to a point where they're going to take action and it's probably feeling very very chaotic because they're all over the place with it with this knight of swords it's kind of like um I don't know, I'm just going to go through and just start slashing and cutting and everything else like that. I'm just going to take some type of action because it doesn't really matter what I do. Um, it's interesting that they've had three sevens show up. Seven, actually we've had all four sevens show up for them. Seven of swords, seven of wands, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. So if you're into numerology, I would suggest checking out the meaning of that. Uh, and that is for your person. Now let's pull three more cards for you. Now the one thing that I did want to actually bring up for you, we've actually had six of swords, six of wands, six of pentacles. So we've had three out of four sixes show up for you as well. Well, it seems like you're the one that's balancing. Uh, you're balancing out a lot of things. Uh, you're balancing out your hopes and dreams. And you were hoping that this comes through, but it's got a bit of a delay on it with this Page of Swords. Page of Swords to me is, you know, there's news that could come, but it's not really here yet. Um, or it could be a little disappointing so you may not even be on the same sort of page with what your hopes and desires are because they actually haven't been communicated and you're trying to balance that out with what's going on Aries that's what I have for you today thank you for being here best of luck with this week and we will talk to you next time